Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you. Uh, yes. How do we maintain this blessing? That is the question that will be going in your heart. Because if you say you are not blessed, it means you are not here. And you are not under the anointing that is going. So ask your neighbor, how do we maintain this blessing? Ask your neighbor again. That was going through my heart this morning. I said, oh, look at so much blessing. And I can see everyone being blessed. Yeah. But the question remains, how do you maintain the blessing? Because uh, this is not the first time you receive blessing. I mean, that's, how do you maintain it? This is the question. Let's talk about this. How much you need God. Hallelujah. Let's take a look at the Bible passage and see what message do we have from this. You take your reading from the book of Luke 16. And then let's take verse 10 there. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be discerning with much. Verse 11. So if you have not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches? Verse 12. And if you have not been trustworthy with someone else's property, who will give you property of your own? We also look at the book of First Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 15. What shall I do? I will pray with my spirit, but I will also pray with my understanding. I will sing with my spirit, but I will also sing with my understanding. Hallelujah. What is rubbing our blessing is simple. We don't know how much we need God. This is what is rubbing our blessing. How much you need God. If you know how much you need God, you will always be in an attitude of prayer. You know, as you are looking at me, you are supposed to be in an attitude of prayer, but you will not. You want to see what will happen. You are supposed to be running your spirit, your heart, with the name Jesus, to run vehicle with oil. To run vehicle, you know what it means? You are supposed to be running your spirit with the name Jesus. Why are you looking at me? If you know how much you need God, you will always be in an attitude of work. Tell your neighbor. Yes, if you know how much you need Jesus, you'll always be in an attitude of prayer. If you don't know how much you need Jesus, you always have a certain occasion for prayer. Can you understand what I'm saying? When you don't know how much you need him, God, need Jesus, you always have a certain occasion. If you don't know how much you need Jesus in small things, you will not know how much you need him to settle your situation. What is the small thing? To walk is a small thing. These are the things you can do yourself to talk. Hey, how are you? It's a small thing. To dress up. It's a small thing. To laugh. <laughs> it's a small thing. To look. It's a small thing. To hear. It's a small thing. If you don't know how much you need Jesus in small things, you will not know how much you need him 
to settle your situation, such as affliction, hardship, career failure, marital challenge, stagnation, joblessness. These are situations people are facing today. Say after me, if you don't know how much you need Jesus in small things, such as to walk, to talk, to look, to dress up, to comb hair, you will not know how much you need Jesus to settle your situation, such as challenges we have today. Can you see where your trouble comes from? You just believe that when you have a challenge, like affliction, business failure, nightmare, stagnation, depression, then you pray to God, you run to God, you run to prophet. And you don't know a small thing. Jesus care much. There's no way you can get to fifth ladder without start from first ladder. You can just jump into seven ladder without start from first ladder. I believe I can walk myself. I can talk myself. I don't need Jesus to do that. This is the challenge you are facing today. Constantly pray in our heart without ceasing. Tell your neighbor. Is the way out. Say you are a Christian without constantly pray in your heart. Without ceasing, you are deceiving yourself. Constantly pray in your heart without ceasing. In Him, spiritual song, and make melody in your heart to the Lord. Melodies to keep your heart busy. The I do attack, negative thoughts, doubts. As you are looking at me, if you allow your heart, I do. Something negative will come. Will this man prophesy for me today? Will this man see me today? I don't think he will see me. Will my problem solve? I still feel any. What is going to happen? What? What am I living here today? These are the things that are going on in your heart. You have to keep your heart at rest on your side. Keep it on your side. And run your heart with the name Jesus. Constantly pray in your heart without ceasing. In Him, spiritual song, and make melodies to the Lord. This is the life I live. This is why it's difficult for me to go to every occasion. I'm too busy. And if I'm in location, I'm sitting, I see what is going on. I need to be busy with my heart. I sit down, I see what is going on. It's going. It's hardly I can spend just an hour in any occasion. I will leave. I'm going. But hardly you will see me where I'm praying. Where will you see me praying when I pray all the time? I've not seen man of God pray, standing, uh, leaning, praying. No, I pray all the time. Constantly pray in my heart without ceasing. This is what Paul meant when he said, I can do all things. Through who? Who do what? 
You see, all things mean walk, talk, dress up, eat, all. But are you doing all? You are only seeking miracle. You will never grow spiritually unless you take this step. A break in prayer is a break in faith. And a break in faith is a break with God. Tell your neighbor, a break in prayer is a break in faith. A break in faith is a break with God. When you know how much you need God, you will pray without ceasing. When you don't know how much you need God, you will always have certain occasion for prayer. Where are we going from here? Hmm? Where are we going from here? Can you see you're not a Christian? You are a part-time one. You are a part-time Christian. Brother, what is going on in your heart now? Can you just tell me as you are looking at me? I'm praying. What you can tell us what is going on in your heart. I'm asking God to cleanse me. This is what is going on in your heart. Yes. Without what? Without CC. And uh, sometimes you make him melody. Melody, yes. Song. Song, yes, same song. Mm. When you start this, you see your character will change. Your attitude will change. Your attitude will completely change. So that is what we call prayer. Prayer is the key. Telling me that uh, a pilot that flying for 20 hours on the air would not pray. They will close eyes and pray. They need to hold and Jesus, I'm shouting. That is what I'm talking about. We don't know how to pray. The spirit helps us in our work, in our weakness. This time I'm going on the street everywhere. I say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. There's a certain place I was living before. Ah. I say, oh, and I'm a pastor. This one is too much. All the environment, the community, no one can sleep. When it is 12 midnight, in the name of Jesus, amen. I say, which will highlight is this now? Say, but I'm a pastor. That was a time I woke up in the midnight, I want to join them. Amen, amen. And now looking at the community, I say, ha, how would this community be sleeping? This is different company, taking night duty and all of that. Poor man prayer, God, God, they, they have no say. And will you go to the police station and report to the police when you don't know whether the police is an evangelist? <laughs> you move toward the police and say, Oh God, they are making noise there. Making noise, saying what? The name Jesus. Wow! I mean, an evangelist. Are you crazy? <laughs> so these are the embarrassment. You see government started checking churches, checking noise, because we are going too far, which is not in the Bible. And the government going to church and give them a letter and close the church because of noise, noise pollution, which is true. That you are a Christian does not mean you will not face challenges. But the challenges we face do not offer us any alternative apart from faith in God. Have faith in God. No alternatives. This is the issue with many of us here. 
looking for any alternative. If there's any at all, it's a way of postponing the evil day. If there's any at all, uh, this is not so. You're now looking for earthly help. What many of you are facing today, these are issues you are supposed to tackle in the name of Jesus in the past, but you run to earthly help. You are only postponing evil day. All the issues many of us are facing today, this is an issue we're supposed to have faced in the past and tackle it. They are recurrent. Earthly help has their own habit of disappointing one. Earthly help has their own what? Their own habit of what? Of disappointing one. Hear what Jesus said to his disciple in John 14, 27. My peace I give you. I do not give you as what? As the world gives. If God gives you something, they are not condition attached. If the Lord gives you something, no condition attached. In God, you have peace, but in the world, you have tribulation. This is why you see a lot of things happen, divorce, breaking home, breaking business, breaking that. When you look at how you got those things, the approach you gave to those things, the direction, the source of those things, they are the one telling you. Earthly have has their own habit of disappointing one. Broken day, broken relationship, broken down. At the time you need to settle down, at the time you need those things dearly, that is, at the time you need to rest and enjoy the fruit of your business, collapsing, disagreement. So think back, you know what I'm talking about. The approach you have given in the past. At Lehev has their what? Their own habit of disappointing one. Time of need. Where are we going from here? This is why you see today, you see those who have top class lower who occupy better position. Why first class will be on the street? It is depending the source, how you acquire what you have. It's what work, not what you have. Tell your neighbor, not what you have, but how you acquire it. The processing to achieve things is more important than the thing you achieve. The processing gives value to the thing. That's why today you see all over the world, you see the owner of business, Takum, the richest man in your environment, may not have anything to show as a certificate. You that have all over the certificate, you are strongly trying to get a job from him. So this is why you must know how much you need God in small things. Jesus cared dearly about the small thing. You want to comb your hair? Just, you can do it to your own. But you have headache? Jesus, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. What of when you are combing hair? You don't need him to help you comb your hair, but you need him to hear your what? Affliction. Crazy. Hmm? You can take your spectacle and wear it, you don't need Jesus to wear your spectacle. But when your spectacle is broken and you need money to buy it, you need Jesus. You need Jesus. Have mercy on me. Let your mercy speak for me. Let the man give me money. Let me see the favor of the man. Because you need money to get this, another spectacle. So these are the things that are affecting our spiritual life. What God has given you, the same God should also help you to maintain them. But you are now maintaining it on your own. You are the one maintaining what God has given you. You only need God for more of those things. But to maintain those things, you don't need him. You don't need him. 
You don't need God again to maintain what you have. You need more from God, but what he has given you, you don't need him to maintain it. But we sing a song that says, my head, my shoulder, my hair, my shoulder, my knees, my hair, my shoulder, my knees, my toes, you are lying. You are lying. So you mean when you move, you say in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If your knee, your head, your toe, all belong to God, you should not use it without him. You should carry him along. How do you wear your dress? How do you comb your hair? How do you make up? How do you talk? How do you move? Without God, let's up again and sing the song. it from God. You are the one using it. If you know it all belongs to God, you want to move. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing you to use them. Thank you, Jesus. You want to talk. Thank you, Jesus. You want to wave, you want to greet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give glory to God for giving you. You want to dress up. Thank you, Jesus. Whenever you see me, You are the owner of your soul now. But this is what is going on. You are the owner of your soul. You do anything. You move. You just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. The word thank you, Jesus, said to it. It's a way of saying thank you for giving me. Thank you for helping me. Thank you, Jesus. Acknowledge me. So right now, start this as you stand. We are going to stand for one second, two minutes and start it now and ask God to give you the grace to continue what you have started. Okay, right now, right now, in your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can mention, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Start it, start it, start it. If you know how much you need Jesus, you will always be in an attitude of prayer. This is what Paul meant when he said, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. I can walk through Christ Jesus. I can talk through him. I can dress up through him. I can make up through him. I can put on my spectacle through him. Through Jesus, do all things. Do everything through Jesus. And see what will become of yours. Begin to do all things. Do everything through Jesus. You are about to enter a new year. To have a new beginning, it is time now you begin to do everything through who? Walk again, move around, move around, walk. Thank you, Jesus. Talk. Thank you, Jesus, in your heart. Put on your spectacle. Thank you, Jesus. Wave. Thank you, Jesus. Comb your hair. Thank you, Jesus. Start this, study, my dear brother. Eat. Thank you, Jesus. Sit down right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stand up again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Clap for yourself.
Hallelujah. So that is it. You are now strike day. A big day with Jesus. You are striking a good day. A new beginning. A new beginning. When we start praying now, as I offer that prayer before you repeat after me, say thank you Jesus in your heart. Before repeating with me. On your phone, if anybody call you, before you pick it, say thank you Jesus before you respond. And if you are making a phone call, say thank you Jesus before you talk. It will help you to talk. It will help you to respond. So that is a prayer, effective prayer, effective prayer. It's not this one you continue shouting 12 o'clock in Jesus' name, do it for do it for you know, you, you yourself will know that uh, you are not talking to anyone. You are not talking to the, the being. You are not talking to heavenly being. You are talking to yourself. I said, the research of your prayer showed that you are talking to yourself. You have been talking to yourself. Right now, run your heart with who? Jesus. Constantly pray in your heart. Constantly pray in your heart. Tell your neighbor again, constantly pray in your heart without, without ceasing. You start hearing the voice of God. The Spirit of God will begin to speak to you. You can't wait to hear the Spirit of God speak to you. Holy Spirit speak to you. Take more of me, give me more of you. Immediately. If you start this now, it may be very difficult because you are more of yourself. It will be very difficult. Anything that is not difficult at the beginning, call for concern. You should expect it to be very difficult from the beginning. If it's not difficult from the beginning, it means failure is awaiting. You are more of yourself, it will be very difficult. Even sometimes you say, thank you, Jesus, thank you. You're just forgetting again. You come back again, say, ah, I forgot what they asked me to do. Yes, it will start like practice. As you go on and on, you become integral to the Holy Ghost. At the beginning, it will look like practice because you are more of yourself. So as time goes on, you come back and give testimony. This is what you need. That is the miracle you need. This miracle of this miracle. Mm. You need that miracle of salvation. There's no salvation without Holy Spirit. Without Holy Spirit, salvation is fake. Tell your neighbor. This is the kind of salvation you people have today. <laughs> this is the kind of salvation. People say, I'm saved. I'm born again. I look at them and say, ah, you are born again. Well done. Born with guru. When you are saved, you begin to relate with celestial, immaterial world. When you are saved, you'll be going this way, you just hear the voice from your heart. Go back, go back, go back, or wait. A new direction, a new way, a new focus. Oh my God. When you are saved, immediately you are saved, the salvation comes to your life. You'll be going this direction, you just hear, stop, stop, from your heart. And you will not be able to resist that. Yeah, no, no, it's not possible. If God talks to you, you cannot resist God. That is what you are seeing today when I prophesy, I say, somebody is there, you have this, you have that. You are bleeding. Ah, if you are the one, at that moment your heart will cease until you come out. That is why you see people with bleeding in public coming out. These two are ashamed, but they cannot receive that instruction because it's from above. I can the director, the chairman of the company, the millionaire, will start vomiting in public. If he can resist that, he will want to go to the restroom to do that. But he cannot resist it. It's the God that is working. So when you are saved, 
you'll just be hearing the voice in your heart. It will give you instruction. Ah, this is your friend. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Ah, by the time you give it to your friend, you'll just, my friend, thank you, thank you. Because the best thing is to be careful. That's your dream. You dream 24-7, not when you sleep. Your own today, you must sleep to dream. Salvation. Fake salvation. You don't need to sleep before you dream. You may be eating with your friend and the boy will say to your heart, don't take it, don't take it, don't take it. It's not good for you. You'll drop it. And your heart, you say, thank you, Jesus. But do you hear this? You hear this? If you have been here anything, you will not rebook me in the past. Maybe you think that I'm not uh, born again. The boy that was telling you that I was not born again then, how come now you now realize that I'm born again? The boy that was telling you that TB Joshua needs salvation, how come now you now know that this man has salvation? Fake. That is to attest to tell you that, look, something is wrong with our salvation. If you don't know your colleague, you don't know your family, family of God, and you are a family of God, and you don't know family of God, definitely you are not family of God. That is it. If you belong to the family of God, and now you don't even know the one that is even one of the family of God, you are accusing me is not family of God, definitely you are not family of God. This is what is wrong. Family of God is a light kingdom. Light kingdom. When we are there, we can see ourselves, we can know ourselves, we see clearly that, yeah, you are there, I'm there, you are there. There's a sign. If you are suddenly now realize that uh, this man is a man of God, that shows that uh, your antecedent, your track record in the past, call for question. Here is TV Joshua. I'm saying you are not a man of God. You are not a man of God. You are not a child of God. But suddenly, I now say, ah, he's a child of God. That show my journey in the past call for consign. If I now say this man is a man of God, he's a man of God, you need to ask me that, ah, what was wrong in the past? You could not realize that this man is a man of God. You are now realize that he's a child of God this time. It's wrong somewhere. But the wise today, they quiet because they don't want to, mm, they remain silent. They don't want to talk again because they have realized that they are wrong and their journey in the past has been wrong. The wise, mm, I don't want to talk again. I'm wrong. If you are wrong now, it means you have been wrong in the past. I take you back again. Constantly pray in your heart. Without what? Are you doing that now? I'm expecting you to be doing it while I'm talking. It's not when you get home. If you cannot adapt to it now, me, you cannot adapt to it again. Start it. Start it. When I say in Jesus' name, you are not answering me, it does not mean you are not answering. Your spirit is connecting. It's not that you believe in, in Jesus' name, amen. Uh, it's manifestation is the answer. When I say in Jesus' name, the manifestation. It's not the way you say, amen. We are not here for national term. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. I take it back again. Listen to me. If you do not know how much you need God, in your life, in a small thing, to talk, to look, to greet, to eat, to do everything, you will not know how much you need God to settle your situation. So this is why you call Jesus when you have a trouble. You realize that you are just calling yourself, you are just talking to yourself. Because uh, you are doing things yourself. You have to heal yourself too. You have to bless yourself too. This is the issue. God bless his holy name.
I want someone to come out to just address us, to tell us what are we talking about in summary. Can somebody? Praise God. He says that uh, if we don't know how much we need God in small things, we are not likely to know how much we need him to solve our situations and that uh, we should pray constantly without ceasing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Love for her. Love for her. The summary of it is we need God in everything, in our life, in everything we do, anywhere we need God. Ah, that's all. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My brother said we need God in anything. No puedo ser muy alto afuera si no soy alto adentro. I have learned that I cannot be too high outside if I'm not too high in the inside. Clap for, clap for. Thank you very much. Mm. That is, if you are not right within, if you are not right within, you cannot write without. It is what is inside that manifested. This is a clap for him. You don't know Jesus to walk, but you want to know Jesus to heal. You don't know Jesus to talk, but you want to know Jesus to bless. It's contrary. You never have any certificate. You never attended the nursery school, primary school, secondary school. But suddenly you have PhD. And you are not carrying the PhD certificate. Is that not call for consign? That is what we are saying here. Jesus must manifest in your work. Holy Spirit must manifest in your talk. Must manifest in your eating. Must manifest in your dress up. If you can now say, be healed, be delivered, be blessed. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. I will be very, very happy if you take this instruction. Very, very important. Not to let you take the instruction. Get home, call your children, call your family, educate them about Jesus. So please, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. This is why we have faith business for many of us to help them on the outside. Thank you, Jesus. 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 With all your heart. Hallelujah. 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 If your life depends on knowing Jesus, you have to take every proper means to start this instruction. As you move, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can even count how many number of times. Take it as duty. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You enter a vehicle. Thank you, Jesus. The conductor is saying, how are you? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In your heart. If your life depends on knowing it, this is the life I'm living this is the life I'm living. And those things are manifested in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. If you just tap me at the back, maybe I'm just moving, something just hit me at the back. Before I turn, I'll say, thank you, Jesus. Look at your dream. All the time you have nightmare, attacking the dream. People will carry gun to shoot. Instead of you to say, thank you, Jesus. You say, my, 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 my. <coughs> Is that the thank you, Jesus? Many of you are inside a vehicle that about to somersault. Instead of because you are not used to that. If I'm going and I hit my leg on the nail or whatever, thank you, Jesus. 
This is what I'm saying. Everything, thank you, Jesus. I know it's in control. It's in control. It's in control. When you call me, TV Joshua, mm, before I answer, thank you, Jesus. It's in control. To, to submission to his will. Your name, sir? Joseph. 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 Yes, sir. It's not say thank you, Joseph. It's answer. Thank you, Jesus. Can you see? After he say yes, sir. He now says thank you, Jesus. Your name, sir? Solomon. I, I said thank you, Jesus. In your heart. <laughs> I can see. I can see. I can see. What can I do for you, sir? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. So you just be ready. Just, just be ready. See it as a duty. Where are you going when you leave here, sir? Go back home. <laughs> you can see, clap for him. You can see, you can see he paused. My brother paused before replying. You know, it's not just easy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, so you should learn to pause. Tell your neighbor, learn to pause. So that little period is for Jesus. Today you see people say, <laughs> who is speaking? Is it God or himself? You can see. You have to learn to pause. So clap for him again. You learn to pause. At that time, you are saying, thank you, Jesus. Because something can come to you by surprise, unprepared. This is... You reply. Pause. Examine everything in the light of God's word. Tell your neighbor. If somebody say, what's your name? You have to examine that. What's your name? In the light of God's word, before you answer. To examine in the light of God's word is, thank you, Jesus. You want to walk? You take your leg? You examine it in light of God's word is, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> 